Hi there, this is a dashboard built entirely in Excel. There are no third-party plugins, no Visual Basic, no macros. This is straight off the shelf Excel and it's version 2010 that I'm using. So here's a dashboard of a company. I can see that I'm looking at total revenue by customers. But if I wanna look at something else, so I'm seeing the top 10 customers there, I can look at the top 10 products, and there they are. I can look at the top 10 employees, and in here we're talking about sales reps. But let's put that back to products for just a moment and start talking about the business. If this was your business, I'd be saying to you, you better watch out because your number one selling product is actually performing bad and getting worse. If we were to look at your customers, I can see that your number one customer is actually performing wonderfully and getting better. But we start seeing even more interesting things. If we look at aggregation levels like territory, so we've got our customers grouped into four territories, we can see that they're all performing pretty steady and they're not performing too bad. If I look at brand, I can see a similar picture. They're all contributing about the same amount of money and they're pretty steady. But look what happens if I look at size. We see something jump off the screen. Small products are being sold at a loss. So let's isolate just small products. We can now go back to our product view and we're only seeing our small products now because we've filtered it. We see something else interesting. Two of these products actually aren't selling at a loss. So let's see what they are. It's 2S and 8S. Let's click on 2S and 8S. And if you look at this brand filter, something interesting has happened. Excel or the dashboard is showing us that both of these products are brand Y products. So what that means is if I exclude brand Y from this analysis and go back and look at all my products, I can see exactly which products I'm making a loss on. So here are all the products we're selling at a loss. Let's now go back to customers and we can see it's happening across all customers. Let's go back to employees and we can also see that it's, going, it's happening across all employees. We may want to talk to Fred, who's sales rep number eight, because he seems to be losing money quicker than everybody else. The tolerances that we use for this performance and progress are set up over here and you can change them on the fly. You can also uh, go and have a look at the raw data that I've used for this dashboard or you can come back and look at the dashboard. So that's just a quick summary of a dashboard you can build in Excel. Thanks for watching and bye for now.